Thank you so much for joining us. It's Heartbeat. And this is the right time when you're supposed to be seated either in your sitting room. You have friends you're mingling with. Probably you at your friend's uh, place. Well, thank you so much for joining us. And trust me, you're going to have an amazing time with us. It's a love show where we play amazing love ballads, probably country music. We visit Nashville. And then uh, we also have a way we comfort you through this music. But again, we also read love letters, letters that have issues probably. You have an issue in your relationship. But again, if you're doing well, you can as well write to us and tell us how amazing your relationship is. Yes, we do not welcome only problems, but also those who are celebrating their marriage or probably the relationship. My name is Judy. To take you through in this one hour, fully packed for you, we have an amazing later. Um, we have also a beautiful music. But again, if you have any birthday party, probably, um, engagement party, pre-weddings, baby shower, bridal shower, you can invite us and we'll be there to show the world that you're doing well in your relationship. Right at this minute, I don't want to go any further before I come to introduce to you a letter that we have today in the house. There's this beautiful lady trying to complain about, complaining about some issue that you and me are going to listen to and probably find a solution appropriate for her so that she can deal with it and still maintain her kind of marriage. And um, if you know you are also into this kind of problem, yes, you will pick a leaf probably, if not a forest, and apply it, and then your marriage will actually work out, definitely. Let's go in for this later, and we'll be back trying to explain to you how the letter is in case there is anyone who will be missing it out. Here is the letter. Try to listen, give it your ears, and watch. And then later give us your advice appropriately that this lady will actually base on to make sure she maintains her marriage as it was at the beginning. Here is the letter. My husband, whom I met many years ago, is about to end his two-year military deployment in Iraq and Afghanistan. He's due to come back for good in a few months. Everyone around me has been very sympathetic and supportive of my family in his absence that during his deployment, he has already said it over and over again how anxious he is to get back home and resume his life once again here. I get comments all the time about how difficult this must be for me and how glad I must be to know he will be back home this year. Well, actually I'm wrecked with dread. While I'm anxious for him to be out of the terrorist land, I'm not looking forward to embrace the occupancy of his place at home again. Me and our kids, the teenagers, have created lives without him. We have our work school and social schedules the way we like them. They are way different than things were before he left. My husband is a bit rigid about how he wants things to be done at home. The kids and I have found that we like a more relaxed approach to life. I don't mean we've fallen into some sort of disorganized life. It's just different when you don't have to factor in someone who has very strong likes and dislikes. For example, we've taken a couple of vacations that he would never have agreed to happen because it's not what he would want to do. I've been able to cook whatever I want because it's not here to weigh in. I go to bed when I want, watch what I want on TV, or I don't watch it at all. I love him and sincerely like him, but when I look at what my life and my stress level is now low, compared to what I anticipate it to be when he returns. I wonder if I'm going to make it through this homecoming and re-entry into family life. And just in case anyone wonders, nobody else has entered the picture. The thought that there is somebody better out there has not entered my mind. That's the thing. And I think I want to be myself with the kids. 
I'm wondering if this means I am selfish or not a good partner. Is this a common feeling among military wives the moment they get used to the long periods without their soldiers? Have any of your viewers experienced anything similar? I can't talk about this with military family friends because I know words would go straight back to my husband and I don't want to hurt him needlessly if it's just cold feet. I should say that my husband is military. He's a reservist who volunteered to go active duty, so his deployment have not been against his will. But I admire him tremendously for wanting to serve, and this has given our kids a very positive life example. Please heartbeat chipping, I need advice. Otherwise, I'm in control freak. My name is Amelia from Dogazi. That's Amelia out there. They say a happy marriage is finding someone who knows all your flaws, differences, and still loves everything about you. I don't know whether this quote really goes in line with this kind of letter, because as we speak right now, Amelia is crying of this small problem. How dare would you get married for all those years and then still complaining about chippy, chippy stuff in your relationship? Anyway. Your issue was to actually deal with the problem, which we are going to do. We're going to find out that you find a reliable and appropriate solution so that you can deal with it because I don't think you can wake up one day and divorce your man just because you feel you will not be given this kind of, um, uh, you know, free, because you're not free at home and um, your man is back, now he's controlling you. That's not a problem anyway. So let me take you back into the letter. Amelia is saying that they've been together for many years that she wasn't um, very particular with. Actually, she did not give us a number. And uh, with the man who left her about two years back, because she's saying that the husband is about to come back probably this, this, this month or the coming month. So the man went to Afghanistan um, and Iraq he first went to Iraq and then later went to Afghanistan and is deployed in military. So he went there to serve and work. They have children whom she says that they are teenagers. But when the man left, um, the family um, came in and then plus also the rel relatives and friends came in and were helping her. So she was not even missing the man. Probably they kept in touch as husband and wife, which we know, and children are really doing well. Her complaint is, you know, they've been used to this amazing life, you know, you wake up the time you want, you don't have anyone to actually take too much care of, like you are a wife at home and then your husband probably needs water in the bathroom and then cook for him, you wake up so early in the morning, do this, do that. She's not used to that kind of life, however much, she's actually taking care of her children, the teenagers, whom I believe must be even in boarding school. So she doesn't have anything to bother her. However much, she's married. So because the man has not been around, they've been taking vacations, I mean, um, in holidays, could go out with the family and then have fun, come back, cook whatever she wants, watch TV whenever she wants, which kind of channel she's, she's to watch. And she says life before <laughs> is actually not the same the way it could be or, or it was right now. Before the man left, it was kind of restrictive life. You know this um, a home to be wife, you're supposed to be home, cook food and then do that, stuff like that. So she's no longer living that life. She's actually a modernized mother today who takes care of the children, even if she does not indulge too much into domestic work. Her worry is, if the man comes back, he does not entertain all that, I hear vacations, for what? So she, she's in control freak, the way she mentioned it, and she doesn't know what to do. She, she's very grateful that the man has completed um, her time due of service in, in Iraq, and now it's time for him to come back. And the man is also very anxious to meet his, his family, wife and children. But she says, 
I'm really not seeing anyone particularly. I'm not into any kind of relationship that you people would think maybe I fell in love with someone else. That's why I don't want this man to be around. I'm just um, complaining about him being bossy at home and I can't handle that life anymore. I'm just used to the other life for two years now. <laughs> anyway, if I begin narrating the letter, I'll be like the one who wrote it. But anyway, I just find it very interesting, however much this is a problem that can be dealt with. She's in control freak. She's freaking out because of this control that as if she's going to be kept at home, you're not supposed to do this, you're not supposed to do that because the husband used to do it before he left. So this is where we drive that topic of discussion. We are asking, how does a long distance, um, how does physical long distance affect a relationship? That's our topic of discussion. How does um, physical long distance affect a relationship? We ask your contribution, indulge in our topic of discussion, and actually I advise Amelia, who is in Duzira and watching right at this minute. Well, your opinion is very vital, just in case you have anything to say, just reach us on our WhatsApp number 0758 44 8577. You can send us a message because we do not receive phone calls. But the moment you send your message, it will be read live on air and it will be very important that Amelia will benefit from it. And those um, who can actually reach our Facebook page is Proco TV Heartbeats. You can as well go there and comment on our topic of discussion. We'll be very grateful. <music> Shop and sell with Reco TV Shopping. Do you own a boutique, salon, institute, electronic accessories, fancy shop or restaurant? Record Shopping bails you out of this burden of no sales. Pay 1.5 million shillings and get 4 adverts Monday to Sunday. This promotion runs for only 3 months. You can call us on 0782 581013 or 0702 194 747 or 0774 64 7460 Record TV, your first class TV network. This week on Record TV. But I have no legal power to announce. Whatever Mr. Jukun announce, it's special at the presidential level. Whatever they do, whatever they do. your boy Byron's major by Rizzi straight up right here on your screen don't forget watching uh, Katogo straight up for your best local music local videos local entertainment news local celebrities every now and then Monday to Friday and Sunday 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. Muganda wangetu inoku wangate omisinga kawani because it's mad fire blazing fire requests right your upcoming fresh talent right celebrity Friday right old music all down in one that's Katogo straight up with me your boy Byron's major 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. don't miss it A must watch program is live on Record TV. Things to do with cookery, fashion, birthday wishes, amazing things, and so many others. You are not supposed to miss out on this with your host, Precious Remy. It is every single day, Monday to Friday, 9.30 a.m. till 11 a.m. Hello 
Hello, sweethearts. Thank you for watching Rekord TV. I'm Little Queen by Names and welcoming you to our show, Know Your Star. A show you're going to get a chance to know more about your celebrities mm -mm, in all categories. Every Friday from 10.30 to 11 a.m. Watch the space. It's going to be fun. This is the time that we have to give Amelia some advice. But before we go any further, in studio, Liz has joined me. You're welcome to the show. Thank you. Liz. Looking good and smart. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Can you say hello to the viewers? Hello, viewers. Uh, thanks for joining us here on The Heartbeat, as usual, a love show that is always inspiring you, bringing you everything you need to know about love, soothes you, and keeps you comfortable in your place. Well, thank you so much for coming. Thank you. And now let's begin with the letter. Have you heard the letter? Yes, I heard the letter. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, the first thing I'll say about it is uh, I think the lady has failed the test of distance. You know, like the distance tests a relationship. Mm -hmm. right? That's, it's a love tester. If you have failed to to pass the test, then you have failed. So I think that's all I have to say about the lady. Yes, it's, um, Amelia is not complaining about that this long distance that the man has been away, mm -hmm. the husband, actually two years. It's not even so long. Yeah, she's been she does not regret the fact that the guy left, mm -hmm. but she's complaining about this man coming back because <laughs> the guy used to be very restrictive about how and then that was then before he left for Iraq to serve in military. Mm. And then his term of service is now ending either this month or next month, beginning of next month. Okay. And he's actually very anxious to come back and join the family, the, 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 yeah, the, the, the family children and the wife. Mm -hmm. And the lady is saying, yes, I'm very happy that my man is coming back. Mm -hmm. I really like my man. Mm -hmm. But I don't like the fact that things are not going to be the same way that they've been. You know, we've been used to this kind of amazing life. Mm -hmm. We have vacations with the kids. We eat what we want. It was in the letter. Yeah. So we watch what we want on life. TV. You know, let's say yeah. that uh, they've been having amazing time with, yeah, the kids. with the kids. And she's complaining that if this man comes back all this is not going to happen and she doesn't know whether she can even live in that kind of marriage now since she has tested this amazing life mm. not being single because she takes herself married being independent like yeah she, she's independent but again she's enjoying the she's the, enjoying the independence and and the money's money of course because <laughs> if the money wasn't there she wouldn't have been comfy in that life exactly. when you don't have anyone to take care of yeah. you and that's, yes. what, that's exactly what I was saying. She has failed because she's disguising herself. This is like a welcoming disguise. It's like she's happy to, that the man is coming, but she, mm. deep inside her, she's actually not. She knows a lot is going to be robbed away from her. Her independence, mm. her, like she said, she's in control freak. Uh, that that <laughs> control, she's scared. Mm. So I think she has, the two years that the man hasn't been around have, have made her, I think, I don't know if she has realized uh, that she's now herself, or she has become a totally different person from who the man left, like the real her. So I am thinking uh, she has actually, uh, she, she has feared, she's, she's, she's fearing actually the relationship. She's afraid they're not going to be together. That's it. So she has failed the, the test. She has who tells you they're not going to be together? They're not because she's saying it in the letter. Okay, fine. She's saying, I'm so happy he's coming back. I think maybe because of the help she was getting from the man. You know, mm -hmm. she, she, back at the back there of the There are also mind. some other factors. Probably the children have but been missing to, the father. Definitely that yeah. has to be there because the kids miss their father. Definitely. I can't doubt that. Mm. Probably that's one of the reasons why she wants to see him so that, okay, fine, daddy, you're back, husband, you're back. But it's let's better you go him. back. Yeah, it's better you go back or maybe <laughs> let's go for a hangout. But please, I want yeah. to tell you that you're not going to be with me. That's, that's it. I'm happy to see you because of the kids, mm. but we're not going to be together. Ah, it's very sad, but I know it will work out. I'm, I'm only you know, for the what, best. What I'm looking at now are men who exercise too much control to their women. 
You see the repercussions? Yeah, those are the repercussions, mm. definitely. Sometimes, I don't know, maybe it's not... Okay, fine, she hasn't told us the whole story, like how she, she was being controlled before the man left and all that. Mm. It could be maybe... It could be the, the normal things that women do, actually, in a home, that, that she, she, she does, like maybe hanging out, you come back at your own time, mm. and maybe bring people in the house anyhow. You don't have anyone to bother you. Exactly. Mm. Maybe that is supposed to be there. As a woman in the house, you have mm. to come back on time. You have, you have to know that you have a husband that you deal with in the house. Probably that's what she feels is, is, is now being controlled. Is that really being controlled? But of course, the time she came out and mentioned about it, there are even more that she left out. I believe. I think she has tested that freedom. We normally tell freedom. them to be brief in, mm, in, the later. in the later. Yeah, probably she left out some stuff because she wouldn't have come out to say that it's going to be the biggest problem in her life. Even if the man is back and is actually out of danger. There's a way she mentioned that... Um, She's happy that the man is living that terrorist land. Yes, something and, and, of the and sort. That, uh, he sacrificed like it, it was on his goodwill that mm. he left. So I think also there's pity. There is also appreciation. I think yeah, there is appreciation that oh my man, you have a good oh. But by the way, going back to the man, I'm just feeling so sorry about what he's because first of all the woman has lied to him because he's she has raised his hopes eh? so high like. She, he thinks he's coming back to the same lady that she left, but she has changed. She, but again, much as me... she's saying she didn't get another man mm. in, in the relationship, she didn't get anyone, probably even the man didn't, because maybe that's why she kept on telling him, I'm still here waiting for you. When you come back, you'll find me the same person. So I think she, she, she overraised his hopes. She, she thinks, he thinks he's coming back to the same old love that he left. But again, there are so many things that women swallow in marriage. Mm. You know, there's a way your parents tell you, you've gone for that marriage, you need to be there, you need to do this and that. And because you want to impress your parents, mm. you even go in for someone like you didn't have lived with. Mm. And you try to cope up with this kind of situation, the man is so bossy in the house. I mean, he's very controlling, he controls your life. Those too much. They are such but you try to abide and live there. So probably Amelia was in the same shoes. And when the man left, she actually got this peace. Even if she's in marriage. Okay, fine. You're understand? just giving her a benefit of the doubt. Mm. You're, just, you're just assuming. What if I also assumed that was not there and she was just being made to be a, house, a, a housewife? Maybe it, maybe it wasn't there or maybe it was there. So, but basing on the letter, uh, she, she was saying... She, she, she real okay. She, there, there's some few things that she realized mm. that she's now herself. She's enjoying her life. She doesn't want this man to come back. Okay, I don't have a doubt that that benefit of the doubt you have given her yes. could be there. Maybe the man was a bit, a bit somehow a bit too strict. But maybe that strictness is not actually that bad strictness. Or maybe it is. Because if it my, wasn't my that. Wife, cook for me you have breakfast you know but you don't things. need to be told to cook food because exactly. you also need to eat maybe well, she was not doing her role and the man maybe has, has to chip in sometimes to remind her something like that you never know those things of marriage mm. they're very complicated they're very complicated but she wouldn't have come out to say it out it must have been a big problem by then let's, and now she got a chance to actually Julie, blow let's now the fact. before even the man the comes fact is that this woman just feel, she's Start, she has grown wings. I think she has grown. She just feels like, oh my God, this is the life I want. I do not want a husband. That's why she has even she hasn't gotten a boyfriend. So Liz are you telling me all men out mm. there are not good for her? Okay, fine. If she was saying she's married, I mean, she needs to keep her ring. So she's keeping her ring. The man is coming back, and she's saying she, she, the truth. We know the letter. You know mm. what she's saying in the letter. Yes. It's like she's she's not. She doesn't know how to break it to him that you know. I think. She, I'm, I'm, I don't think we are going to be together. I, I think no, she actually even never mentioned divorce anywhere in the letter. Yes. So she's not willing to move That's away. I told you, it's so, a disguise. It's, it's like a blessing in disguise. You know, something which is going to be happening, which is going to be good. Yet it's bad in the long run. That's what I think. Well, um, I'm looking at Amelia. Um, um, Amelia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or Amelia. Yeah. As this kind of person who has had it all and now it's time to blow so if the man comes mm. what i know she just needs to sit down with the man or try to give him a benefit of doubt and see whether this man changed what 
whether he changed from the other man of yes. two years back and to a mom, new person because even the kids have grown actually, and she's also let me grown. Tell you something. I'm thinking this man is going to come back even more aggressive if he was actually because this <laughs> is a soldier. He's been shooting guns and all that. You expect him to come back and he's remembering all those marriage things. He's He's a soldier and he's been there, not in marriage, not in anything, but mm. saving lives. So that's how, so, how worry. Yeah. She's worried in that way, <laughs> trust in that me. Sense, I yeah, think. because she believes, yes, because the time she sat down and wrote to us a letter, she believes mm, she, it she can some, change. Yeah. I mean, she can she find a, a, solution a, solution, a solution for this problem, which is not even so big, but complicated. It's very complicated. Very because complicated. the man doesn't know about it. There's somewhere she mentioned that um, I can't say this Oh, I can't talk to my friends, mm, military, military wives, yeah, mm. military wives, friends, because she believes whatever she speaks at that moment will actually go and, and back who, who to the I husband, the and right she people. doesn't want to hurt the man. And I think those military, actually, since she wants a solution, if she, okay, she's fearing to tell those people, mm. and yet those families, I think, are the right people that she could talk to, because I think they have the same experiences. Wives being left behind, husbands going for work. Of course. So I think At they, can they, they move with their family. Yes. Those, those, those ones that are so lucky. Those that are so lucky. Yeah. But most of them, they know that pain of being left behind. They know the endurance, the, everything. So I think they are the right people she can talk to. Let her break the, the ice like to them. Let her, okay, fine, she may not have the courage to tell the man. But let her not mind the man knowing. But let me ask you, Liz, because something. Because there, there could be a how would you there. How do you perceive something probably i've just come back mm. from a two-year uh, deployment mm. okay let's put ourselves in the shoes of a man okay. and you begin talking about me even before i come back home and try to find such words into friends your mm. wife is complaining you might uh, restrict her again she's worried about it it's very very worrying and probably you would not even stay for a day. You would have left even yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know, but... but yeah. But... Uh, That's what she fears. This woman is... Okay, fine. Amelia is not... Okay, is, she, she just wants a solution. I don't know what solution she wants. Yeah. I don't know if she wants to, to, to stay with the man who doesn't even know anything. He's still there. If, if she wants to stay with... Let, uh -huh. He hasn't known. <laughs> let, let her just wait for him. He'll come and they'll be together. Then let her... That, that control thing in her and all that... Let her swallow it and keep quiet. With time, she'll learn to adjust to the man. Mm. Mm. They will, because this is the father to her kids. If she has failed to have time with the man, the kids are there playing with the man. With time, with time. I think the independence that she has gained over the two years when the mm. man left. It's misleading it's her. It's misleading her. It's giving her illusions of life, about life. Mm. She's thinking, oh my God. Yeah. How am I going, going to leave this now? The man is going... Because now I think uh, with the kids, she, 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 there's this life cooking, lunch, supper. The kids, they, I think she just takes them out. I'm imagining this uh, lifestyle, you know, that good lifestyle. Yeah, where you don't <laughs> have to enter the kitchen so much mm. all the time, you know. Yeah. So maybe when you say the man is, was a control person, mm. controlling person, maybe he used, she used, it was in her mind. Because it was there. It was in her mind. It can't be in mind. <laughs> it was in the mind because she, she knew, oh my God. I have to go and cook for this man. Oh. But the man hasn't told her cook. It's just she's doing her response. She's doing what she's supposed to be doing. Yeah, so now because she's, she's married. Yeah, so now there's no that disturbing voice in her mind. But let's accept the fact that, yes, even if you're married, you don't have to be so much strict to one another. Yes, yeah. Let everyone have peace. True. That's very true. Because the more peace I get, the more I feel comfortable with this new person that I've engaged myself with. Yeah. The person I didn't grow with, who is not my brother, mm. I'm just getting to they know you. Know each other, exactly. One another's lifestyle. So if, if you have peace together, there's a way you people can be together even for long. Yeah. Just because you have a peace of mind the at home, of, yeah. there's a way you relate as yeah, husband and that wife. Peace of mind is definitely necessary. But this kind of being bossy, <laughs> I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I know culture is changing. Those days, I think I've much as I was naughty those days and saying our gra grandparents and all that. Exactly. It was a strict marriage, you know, whereby, yes, you're confined to the kitchen, you're confined to, to home, everything about home. Mm. The man would wake up, go and look for money, hustle. Yes. 
then you, the woman at home. Yeah, because we have, even us women, we have forgotten our responsibilities. We are just there. Life is changing. There is, you know, you find a woman cooking, she's on WhatsApp. She's, uh, you know, many things. So I think at the end of it all, mm. Amelia. I'll go back to Amelia. <laughs> Amelia should, Amelia, I'm sure she's watching because she knows the show runs on Thursday. And uh, Amelia is just confused about her feelings, about her, her lifestyle. She did say that she must be seeing someone and she never wanted to admit Or oh, maybe even that. That is also possible. Because many people that are uh, but, out of us are no, but, 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 but I don't think she's seeing someone because according to, to, to the letter, I think she's the kind, kind of life they are living. Exactly. It shows that there's no man. There's no house. man in the house. And that's, <laughs> that's why she was scared. <laughs> True. Anyway, our topic of discussion, um, we are saying... Yeah, we are talking about uh, Amelia. Amelia had the husband. They, they were together for... Actually, he's been away for two years. He's now planning to come back. And uh, she's worried that they have grown apart somehow, especially in her lifestyle, her responsibilities. So she needs some advice from us. Send in those messages and let us know what you think about this. Yes, our WhatsApp number is right on your TV screen. Um, it's 758 44 85 77. Send us a message, don't call. Your messages will be read live on air. And those who have contributed, yes, you can visit our Facebook page, Record TV Heartbeat. Topic is already posted there. You can give us your opinion on how you think about um, the topic of discussion and the letter. Our topic is how does a physical long distance affect a relationship? Does it even affect any kind of relationship? If it does, tell us the reasons how yes how does it really affect it affects it affects a, a relation definitely there's an effect uh, only that there is i think it all depends on on, on you who mm. is in the thing the, the person on who it is happening like if it's your husband or your wife how you perceive the whole the whole journey of the man leaving you mm. how you keep in touch how you relate when he's far away exactly how how you understand each other how long you have been in this relationship mm -hmm. because i know someone by the way this uh, the, the man left i think to america and uh, she kind of thinks like he they didn't date for long like they did not date for long she, she's like ah, he thinks he's my boyfriend a person i was with for just a week and he leaves this for him he's still in touch he wants mm. to the, he's still building the relationship but the girl is like no i'm just lying i just want money from him and that's it okay let's chip in in messages just a little bit before we take a short break um this one is saying at some point it leads to loneliness resulting to cheating mm. and then unfaithfulness thank you so much but i will be very interested in your name just in case you leave your name another one says long distance Love makes the love stronger. <laughs> yes. Ambash. <laughs> Ambash, that's my that's name. True. And another one says, hello, this is Sam. Thanks, dear, for the show. He's just appreciating. Yes, Dev has sent a, a message saying, dear Judy, physical long-distance relationship tends to bring about lack of trust within lovers, whereby none of them knows what happens from their partners physically. Mm. Relationships nowadays are taken to function, to function well when a partner can access each other physically. That's why one believes that the partner is theirs when they are with them. Mm. There is a lot of insecurity and cheating because of lack of trust due to long distance relationships. Thanks, dear. Well, you're welcome. Isaac is also um, contributing and is saying, on the positive, yes, the positive effect of long distance for a relationship um, built on trust is that partners have little room to notice each other's flowers. This is mm. due to the fact that by the time these partners get to meet, things must be in order on either side. So if any of them has games, at least there is a chance to pause for a period. <laughs> the partner is around there by giving some... Millage to the relationship, Isaac. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Isaac, thank you so much. We are very grateful. I don't want to yes. blame her so much because she may say, oh my God, I'm so bad. Because mm-hmm. I, she doesn't seem to be a lady who knows who she is actually. Maybe she doesn't know her character. <laughs> she mm-hmm. forgot herself. You see, she even forgot that she was once with a man under the same roof. <laughs> so yes. I'm, I'm thinking I'll only tell Amelia. Uh, I'm not blaming you, Amelia. I'm only mm-hmm. telling you that at least be flexible. Remember those days. They were, I'm sure there were good times when you were two, two together under the same roof. Just think about those good times that you had under the same roof. But again, don't say it like as if she divorced. No, <laughs> she, she's not divorcing. But yeah. I'm sure even when the man comes back, what she's trying to tell us here, you know, she's, she's being indirect. Mm. But if we put it in a, in a direct way, she's actually saying, yes, this man is going to come, but we are not going to be compatible. We are, we are, we are not going to, to flow in the house because she has told us her character, how free she is, how she's these days enjoying her life with her kids, how she can think of a holiday and she goes. Yeah. So surely she's on the other side telling us that this man, they're going to be walking out with the kids, they go for holiday, and he'll stay in the house when he hasn't told them to of go. Which she, of which the husband cannot allow because she was Definitely. bold enough so and told her. The, the divorce that, will come. <laughs> Some of yes, there, there's a will. message coming in from John. He's saying, hello, thanks for the show. This is Frank at Makere Chikoni. It's true that long physical uh, distance affects relationship because when someone misses you a lot, it ends up getting ways of living without you. Then it leads to separation. John, thank mm. you so much. We do appreciate. Well, um, if we try to actually, <laughs> well, our WhatsApp group is active and it has <laughs> many messages. Well, what is your verdict, your remarks? Let's now advise appropriately. Appropriately. Yes. I think I'll first of all do it generally to to the people, to everyone that it's affecting out there and to another person out there that it may affect with time. Mm. Like, how to deal with this uh, long distance relationship. I won't say I'm perfect, I'm only thinking about what's right. Mm. When someone is in a long distance, you see, when someone goes far away, somehow, okay, after you've been together for a long time, some people think that getting your phone and, you, you, of course, uh, like that visual, si- the person is out of sight. Yeah. You don't see them. You're only building your hopes on, on trust, plans. Yeah. That's all. And, and you're talking to your mind. You're talking to yourself. But um, I want to advise the people out there that if you find yourself in this situation, your man is far away, okay, you can call them, but don't exaggerate like all the time. Where are you? Right now, what are you doing? People think that that will create some togetherness, like you feel the person is closer by, by keeping them on phone throughout. Yeah, by the way, in most cases, I, I don't think that's it. people who live abroad do mm. it here. Yeah. yeah, like you think if I call them all the time and find out what they're doing, I'll feel that they're closer to me. No, yeah. somehow the other person also starts getting fed up, you know, like, why do you want to know exactly where I am? Somehow you have to just trust and mm. you base your beliefs on your trust. You just say, this man is mine. You be strong, this woman is mine. I know they love me, they are not cheating on me. Let me just, let me not do the same as well. With mm. time it reflects in, 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 in the way you talk to each other on phone, the first word you say, something like that. I think that's what I can tell the people out there. Conversation, phone, don't overstock your man on phone. Thank you so much, Liz. Yeah. Well, my message goes out to the two lovers. That is the husband and Amelia. Yes. Men out there, what you have to know, get to learn that the wife you brought at home is a human like you. There's so many things you can do together. Don't be selfish. Don't try to be so controlling. You know, there's a way you guys control your people close to you, even children at times, um, if there's too much control from parents, they, they have a way, they even run away from home. That yeah, much true, we know. True. If there's too much control, you, you become too much restrictive to your kids, they can run away from home and mm, think probably mommy and daddy do not love us. Yes, restrict, restrictions, turn them down a little bit. Yes, they can be there, but um, try to turn them down, not so much. Then men, you, you need to also do your duties at home. Try to help out your woman. Even, there are so many things that they need to be helped in, however much they've not come out to actually ask 
but try to be there in times when she really needs. Even if you've done something, there's a way you pull back and think of what your man did for you, I mean, some months back, and you say, no, 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 even if this one has happened, I know it will not happen again. You console yourself just because there are some good things that your man is doing. So men, try to cooperate together because you're two lovers. Then to Amelia, please, my dear, you're married. And I don't know whether you understand the word commitment. Mm -hmm. Marriage is a commitment between two people. I mean, you and your husband, not even us who've read the letter. We just mm. chip in just because you asked us to do. But again, it's a commitment. You must understand that before you go in for any kind of commitment, mm. you must have thought of what is going to be there through thick and thin, you know, mm. sickness and in health. You set them in church, those who are married. <laughs> then why do you want to and think of those bad things right about now, yet you <laughs> did not even think about them before you fell in love? Sure. These are the things you need to now cope up with in marriage. There's something that's not going on so well. What I advise you to do is wait for your man to come back, sit down together, and try to show him how you've actually been going through your life with the kids. Probably there is some way, even if it's not 100%, but I know 50%, he will accept you people to do it just because he also loves you, just in case he loves you. He will accept and actually tell you to actually do it in the same way that he really wants. But again, you'll be still doing it. That's all I can give you right now, Amelia, and the people who are watching the show, because we all love marriage, but you need to go there when you're ready for any commitment and if you're committed you're ready to actually swallow even the remorse whatever that happened in marriage well it has been a pleasure having you part of the show it has been heartbeat i thank liz for coming thank you so much for coming is my co-host <laughs> well i thank the cameraman that's chivoka somewhere and then guys in control room alan and alan the aa <laughs> thank you so much for making this show amazingly wonderful for the people who've been watching the show, we love you so much. Remember, you catch a replay on, sat on Sunday at midnight. From me and the entire team, we say have a good night. <laughs>